Hey guys, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Um, I am going to be talking about my diet today. If you guys are new here, my name is Katie Schaefer. I am a NASA certified personal trainer. Um, just wanted to disclose the fact that I'm not a nutritionist in any way, shape, or form. Um, when you go through your personal training certification, they teach you kind of like the basics of nutrition, but definitely not a nutritionist. Um, I wanted to talk about my diet just because I have finally found what works for my body. Um, I just want to preface this with the fact that my weight has fluctuated a lot this past year. Um, probably like plus or minus 10 pounds. I usually weigh between 120 and 130. That being said, I have consistently worked out the most that I ever have over the past year. I've seen the most changes with my body, whether positive or negative, and I have finally found a way to eat that feels more like a lifestyle to me than a diet per se. So over the last four years, I've been consistently um, weight training and building muscle, and for so long I was like, why am I not seeing this muscle that I'm working so hard on? And I just didn't realize how much nutrition really plays into the way that your body looks. So over the last year, I really wanted to figure out what works for me. Um, whether it was higher protein, lower carb, higher fat. And I know there's tests that you can take that will tell you, but I really think it comes down to trial and error just because even if a test tells you this is the way to eat for your body, um, what if you don't like eating in that way? So I wanted to find something that I enjoy and that I feel works for my body personally. So I tried higher protein, lower carb, higher fat, um, more plant-based, which kind of ends up being higher carb if you're going to eliminate as much protein. Um, I've tried food combining. I have really tried it all. The last thing I tried was food combining where I was doing fruit um, in the morning and I really did enjoy that. Um, I just did fruit until noon and I felt so good because I felt, it's almost like fasting because fruit goes through your system so quickly. It was like I felt so light um, throughout the morning and your body's not wasting time and energy on digesting food but I did come to find that I was so much hungrier later in the day that I was almost eating more. Um, it's just hard on someone who works out every single day to eat that low. It ended up being pretty low calories, but it also ended up being more carbs than I was used to. And what I found um, is that my body doesn't like carbs the way that other people's bodies do. Um, as you can tell from the title, um, my body works best off higher protein, um, but I also feel like this is kind of contradictory and I know people are going to be like, how is it a higher protein but a plant-based diet? But what my body thrives off the best is more protein and more plants. So when you see high protein, I think a lot of people, especially in the fitness industry, think of like bodybuilders and that kind of stuff. but I'm not ingesting insane amounts of protein. I am. I aim to get at least 100 grams in a day. I know in reality, some people say you're supposed to get as many grams as body weight every day. So for me, that'd be about 125, 130 grams of protein a day. In reality, I can't hit that target. It's, it's so much. Um, so I aim for about 100. Um, I do not track my macros anymore. Um, I know I do recommend that with my workout program, but I think as a beginner and until you have tracked your macros for a long time, it's so helpful to understand um, how much protein you're ingesting, how much carbs you're ingesting. I do think there is, with a lot of just the way our culture is, there's a lot of anti-dieting and anti-tracking, but I do think if you really wanna dial in on your nutrition, I think it's important just to have a basic understanding, which I think you get with tracking your macros. So 
there's two sides to every story. I mean, everyone has a different opinion. And I want everyone to realize that you can take this with a grain of salt. This is what works for me. I don't want anyone to think like I'm saying this is the way you should eat. I don't want anyone to think that. Um, because diets aren't a one size fits all thing. It is different for every single person. And that's why like so many people like food combining. It's, it's making a comeback now. It used to be a thing in like the 80s and 90s. I heard my mom tell me that the other day and it's making a comeback and it works for a lot of people my body likes more protein and everyone is different like there's no I, I i don't want anyone to think that i'm saying any diet is wrong it is truly different for every single person so another thing that i want to talk about as well is the game changers uh i guess it's a documentary but i wouldn't even call it a documentary now um i watched it i put it on my Instagram story. I was like, wow, this is so eye-opening. And I don't want people to come at me and be like, you were kind of going along with this. But I did, I did, I watched it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so eye-opening. Like, this is so amazing. And they share like all of these statistics and you're like, wow. But that's exactly what they want you to do. I mean, it's, I don't want to call it propaganda, but it kind of is. So, I don't want people to think that I'm saying that you do need a ton of protein because that's what fits with what I'm saying about my diet, but like that's totally different because it is different for everyone. Um, sure, we may not need as much protein as people say we do. It, it's different, like I, I can't say it enough, it's different for every single person. Um, but that being said, I found this amazing article, I'm gonna link it below, and it kind of like brings to light everything that they said on the Game Changers movie. So they used what is called cherry picking. So they used all these statistics and tests and that kind of thing and, and they only showed one side to the story. So like vegan bodybuilders are lifting more than non-vegan bodybuilders and um, they had fighters on there and all this stuff. But in the article that I'll link below, the guy actually said he spent so much time, so he's actually, I believe, a personal trainer. I don't know, he, he knows what he's talking about. Has spent time with basically all of the people that were in the movie, and he said it's actually ironic because all of these people eat a ton of fast food, but he was like, if you wanted to find a commonality between everyone, you would literally find that they all eat a ton of fast food. But you're not gonna say the best thing to do to become an elite athlete is eat a ton of fast food. So you have to watch it. You need to read the article also. I think everyone can form their own opinion about it, but I do think that incorporating more plants into your diet is so important. Um, that's really what it comes down to is, I, I don't wanna say they're prom promoting veganism, but they definitely were promoting less meat eating and protein emphasis. So one of the diets that I did try throughout this year was keto. I wasn't necessarily eating under 50 grams of carbs a day, but I was trying to. Um, I was trying to do, you know, more protein, more fat. I do think though that moderation is the key to everything. It seems like this day and age, everyone has a problem with one of the three macronutrients. So a lot of people see protein as bad, some people see fat as bad, some people see carbs as bad, but I just don't think anything is bad. I think moderation is the key to everything. So while I do say I'm eating a higher protein diet, I'm still eating carbs and I'm still eating fat. In fact, every morning I have a smoothie that has fat, protein, greens, and I try to get some fiber in it. Okay, so back to the keto thing. It was really hard for me to keep under 50 grams of carbs a day. Um, I don't eat carbs a ton on a daily basis. Um, usually I have like a sweet potato or some other kind of potato for dinner. Um, my favorite splurge or treat meal is pizza or a burger or pasta. So keto is... I don't want to say too hard for me, but it just wasn't something that I, that was realistic for me. And I'm trying to do, my goal was to find something that is a lifestyle, not a diet. And I hate even calling it a diet because it's not a diet. This is the way I enjoy eating and what works for my body. That being said, I 
did see really good results with the way that my body looked from keto like my abs looked crazy good um but yeah i'm not gonna keep up with something that i'm not wasn't that i wasn't comfortable i'm not gonna keep up with something that is so hard for me it's just not realistic just because my abs look great you know so i'll just go ahead and get into what i eat on a daily basis like i said i have fat in my smoothie every morning um, I try to get in, yeah, pro a protein powder. I try to do vegan. It just is cleaner, and I also am technically lactose intolerant, so I try to keep away from whey because it's dairy. Um, I really like Orgain, um, which is a pea protein, I believe, and then Vega protein, also V-E-G-A is another good one. PE Science also has some really good vegan proteins. So I'll do a smoothie with protein after the gym um i don't believe in the crazy like you need to get it in with 20 minutes within 20 minutes um i think as long as you're having protein after your workout like within an hour or two i think that's fine um so i have protein in there i try to add some fiber um just to keep me satisfied and full um i put inulin in there as my inulin is basically pure fiber it's like a white powder um you can buy it on amazon um, I try to put spinach in there, but I don't always use it always goes bad before I use it all so I usually just put um, powdered spirulina in there um, You can also get that on Amazon and then I try to get a fat in there. So I Used to do bulletproof coffee. So I have MCT oil left over. So I've been trying to use that up um, I do like half a tablespoon of MCT oil and then I'll do a tablespoon of peanut butter just because I love it and I'll get a really clean peanut butter so it's not a bunch of sugar. It's like literally just peanuts um, or almond butter. So I'll do that in the morning. So basically it's kind of like a, I don't want to say high fat, but a really filling smoothie in the morning. And that's all I have. Um, I really find that I have a hard time with snacking. I just find that once I start, I like can't stop. So I've really cut back on the snacking. If I'm absolutely starving, I will have one handful of cashews and put the bag away um yeah so i usually don't get hungry in between um breakfast and lunch i try to have for lunch a big salad i really love crunch bistro in charlotte um i work right by it uptown so they have a turkey cob salad it's probably not the healthiest thing for me but i substitute the blue cheese dressing for balsamic um and get rid of the blue cheese crumbles so it's basically just it's huge it's like this tall and like this big but it's so filling it's like a ton of lettuce um bacon they put turkey hard-boiled egg avocado so you got your fats in there you got protein it's so filling um tomatoes some other stuff so good but i try to have a big salad or so for example this week i really wanted to meal prep i don't want to spend money every day on lunch and i will link below the recipe that i usually follow but i kind of do it a little bit differently um spaghetti squash bolognese so it's basically just ground beef um spaghetti squash and marinara i'll get a really clean marinara sauce um 90 or 95 percent lean ground beef and just put it over roasted spaghetti squash it's so good it's basically to me it's like eating spaghetti um but it's healthy so yeah, my diet is basically plants and protein, which I really enjoy. Um, so for dinner, then I'll have, um, I love salmon. I know what they say about you shouldn't eat fish all the time because the mercury. I don't know. I love fish. I'm not really worried about it. I usually get either pre-marinated salmon from Whole Foods or for, uh, we live across the street from a fresh market. So if they have deals, I'll go there. We usually cook it in coconut aminos, which is a good substitute for soy sauce and put like some ginger or some garlic. So we'll do like some kind of like teriyaki salmon. Sometimes I'll do like a maple bourbon glaze. I, you can season salmon so many different ways. It's so good. Um, I'll do salmon or I'll do like a baked tilapia. Sometimes we'll do grilled chicken. Um, I try not to eat too much red meat i really eat more chicken and fish and then so let's say we have salmon for dinner um tonight we're actually having salmon with a roasted sweet potato and broccoli i just keep it really simple i, I totally underestimate the amount of vegetables and and things like that that 
I needed to eat for so long like I would just put like this much veggies on my plate when like in reality if I'm just eating two veggies and a protein and basically no carb I need a heaping amount of veggies so if you guys follow me on Instagram I post almost every single meal that I eat so if you want to see how I eat I eat a ton of veggies I honestly like I have come to love eating vegetables I just started eating mushrooms there's so many ways like if you find ways to season your vegetables and your food in the right way like you can make amazing things at home and I have found so many websites over the last year with just like so many great recipes if you take the time to make your food taste amazing like you don't really need to eat out but yeah so I pretty much eat protein and plants and it really seems to work for my body I don't feel bloated and that's such that's been such a huge thing for me over the past year um, with trying all these different diets I have suffered from bloating on like another level um, and eating in this way keeps me from getting bloated I wake up in the morning I feel great I just I don't want to say it's not my goal to wake up in the morning and look shredded but I feel so good in the morning and who doesn't want to look good I mean but at the end of the day eating this way isn't a diet like it doesn't really fit into whole 30 or low carb or paleo or keto or anything like that um to me it's a lifestyle it's the way that works for my body and like i said you can take this with a grain of salt it's what works for me you can try it if it works for you great um if not try another diet i mean there's just so many different ways to eat um that being said, oh, I really try to only eat outside of that diet one, like one or two meals a week, um, but it usually ends up being two. I love a burger. Like I said, I love pizza. I love pasta. Um, but yeah, this is what works for me. If you guys have any questions or comments or whatever, of course, feel free to leave them below. And I hope this helps anybody I'm not, and like I said I don't want to prescribe this for anyone but if you're struggling with your diet try this if it works for you great if it doesn't that's okay too um but I hope this helps someone um I feel like it does take a ton of trial and error but once you find something that works for you it's such a relief I hope you guys enjoyed this video Thank you for watching my Vlogmas videos and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the videos I'm posting this month and I will see y'all in the next one.